What's going on guys, Spion here again, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan bringing you another video. Now uh, lately I've had a lot of you guys uh, commenting down below and messaging me asking what would be better, a Goosebumps sequel, which is clearly already what's happening, or a reboot of the TV series but with like the newer books, like the Horrorland and the Most Wanted, the Hall of Horrors. Now I thought, hang on. Hang on a minute, this is interesting. I honestly, my personal opinion, I would prefer a reboot of the TV series because I would love to see a lot of those books brought to life. I mean, the movie has happened, it's done, but it could just be one movie, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't need to be three, four, five, however many movies they have, you know, planned. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. They could have just done one big major motion picture and then maybe reboot the TV series, you know? That would be really awesome. I mean, who knows? Maybe after the Goosebumps sequel, they'll decide to reboot the TV series. I mean, that would just be so amazing. Like, imagine seeing some of those books that, you know, we never got brought to life, you know? Like, even some of the Series 2000 books we never saw, you know? I reckon they would maybe make Night of the Living Dummy 1. I have a feeling they would probably do it. Only because, you know, it's one of the most popular books of all times, even now the reissue of it, you know. I'd imagine they would definitely do that one because Night of the Dummy is so popular. But uh, I would also love to see Slappy's Nightmare because I love that book. It's such a great story. It'd be so awesome to see it. But imagine seeing some of the most wanted books brought, you know, like Creature Teacher, The Final Exam, you know, Nightmare on Clown Street, you know, or some of the special edition ones like The Haunter. Like, imagine seeing some of those most wanted books brought to life. That would be so sweet. One that I would really like to see is Night of the Puppet People. That would be an awesome episode. I would love for them to do that one, okay? It would be so sick. But uh, yeah, guys, if I had to choose between a, another Goosebumps movie or a TV series, I'm definitely going with the TV series because this is something that could last years and years and years, you know? They may do one more movie and who knows how, how it goes. It could be really good or it could be a complete flop. And then, you know, they won't make any more movies. It'll just end with that, you know? Imagine if they just did a series and did a whole bunch of the episodes, you know, books that were never done. I mean, Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls, that's one I'd love to see as well, but they never did that one, you know. There's just so many opportunities. They didn't do many of the Series 2000s. I think they only did, like, two. Cry the Cat, uh, Bride Loving Dummy. I'm pretty sure that was all they did. I don't think they did many more. But, uh, yeah, it would be so awesome. Imagine seeing some of those Horrorland books, you know, like Say Cheese and Die Screaming, you know, because there was another Say Cheese and Die. Monster Blood for Breakfast, you know. There's just so many books, okay, in Goosebumps, and I think it would be a better series than another movie, because they just cram a bunch of the monsters into one movie, like, which was cool, you know, it was the good concept, a good idea, like, but it could have been just, you know, one big major motion picture, and then they went straight and did a series straight after it, like, that would be so awesome. But another thing I was thinking, guys, if they were to do another Goosebumps movie, you know, after the second one, or, like, if they already have a plan, you know, for a third one, you know, being after one, two, and three in order, what if they did a prequel movie, a prequel to the Goosebumps movie where Arl Stein was a kid when he was, you know, Slappy was like his best friend as he said in the movie, you know. Well, Slappy said, you know, you were my best friend and you turned your back on me and Stein said he used to get, you know, called names and rocks thrown at his windows. Like, imagine seeing all that brought to life. When I was younger, I created my own friends. Monsters. Demons to terrorize my neighborhood and all the kids that made fun of me. And they became real to me. And then one day, they actually became real. Guys, remember the Slappy that they originally were going to go with? The one right here? Imagine if that was like a teenage Slappy. That's what Slappy looked like when he was like... I mean, how can a dummy age, right? I mean, there's no possible way, but they could make him look like that. You know, like a, like almost as if he's a young Slappy. I mean, logically, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense that he could just somehow change his appearance. Like, there's no way. But, uh, I mean, you know, they could do it. I mean, it would be cool, though. It would almost look as if, like, it was a big transition from, you know, this one to that one. You know, from Slappy being, like, a young teenage Slappy. Like, you know, similar age to what Stein was at the time. Like, that would be really sick. I mean, I would love to see a prequel. But uh, yeah, going back on, based if I would rather have a movie or a TV series, I would rather have a TV series instead of a Goosebumps sequel, but the Goosebumps sequel is already, you know, in development, they're making it, so, you know, there's definitely going to be a sequel, but 
Who knows, they may reboot the series sometime in the future because it would be so awesome. I mean, I think that's what it needs. It needs to be rebooted and what channel would it be on? That's the question. I mean, it was back on Fox Kids, but the Disney Channel has been airing Goosebumps episodes, I've noticed. Disney. Lately, too. Like, I saw Night and Terror Tower on the Disney Channel. I was like, whoa, you know, because obviously it's popular again now with, you know, the books and everything. And also, guys, I've seen Goosebumps books everywhere now. If you live in Australia, Aldi even has Goosebumps books now. Like, they're seriously everywhere now. They're so popular again. Like, you can buy them literally anywhere. Merchandise has to happen. Okay, they have to bring out merchandise soon because, you know, just imagine, like, it would make everyone so happy, especially us collectors. I mean, you know, they brought out pretty much nothing with the movie, so, you know, they need to bring out merchandise. Now that it's popular again, like, can they not see that kids would go absolutely nuts and crazy over merchandise? Like, toys of Slappy and the Snowman and the Werewolf and the Lawn Gnomes, just imagine. I mean, there's a few things out there like costumes and that, but it's not enough. I want to see an aisle of merchandise like it was in the 90s, you know? Come on, let's bring the Empire back, you know? But uh, anyway guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all to talk about this video. I would prefer a TV series over another movie, because I've had a lot of you asking me which one I would prefer, and yes, I would rather a TV series reboot it would be sick, because it would go over years and years and years. And uh, yeah, hopefully they would really, I mean, especially if it was on the Disney Channel or like Nickelodeon, then we would definitely see merchandise, that's for sure. But uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again soon.